Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB Worth Saving 101, and I am KB Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. I am a crazy lifetime thrifter turned reseller, and I currently resell on Poshmark, Wakari, Tracy, a few others. And um, this is my journey. Um, if you are interested in reseller content, uh, please think about hitting that like and subscribe button down below because hopefully someday it may help me out. All right, today is my favorite day of the week. It is Thrift All Thursday. This is where I go into my local Goodwills to find unique items no longer available in stores to flip for profit. Um, Today is 39 items, and only one item was a full-priced item. So let's dive in, because you know how I get chatty. <laughs> First one is this dress, guys. All right, so it is just this little tank dress with a shark bite hem. It is adorable, and it has pockets, um, and it has a racer back. So I have no idea who makes it. Um, it's mine. And let's see what else I got that I'm going to actually list and sell. <laughs> All right. I did find a lot of men's boots this week. So I'll start there. Um, these are fab. Look at this. I love this little, like, detailing, the bands. It is a zip entry. They are a size 12 leather Aldo's um, expensive brand. So hoping those do very well. I don't usually do a lot with mums, but I don't know. Maybe someday. We'll see. Um, these, again, are a size 12 leather boot. And who are you? Oh, Rockport. Rockport. And, again, I don't know. They, I don't see men calling them ankle bootes, but, <laughs> but they are an ankle boot. All right. Let's see. And... I'm not sure if this is a men's or a women's, so I will have to um, do a little more research on it. Um, but they're Justin. They are size seven and a half regular. Um, they have a style number in there. Yay! Uh, but yeah, it doesn't say an M or a W, so I don't know if it's men's or women's. And so a little bit more research, but for a dollar, definitely coming home with me. And I'll list them underneath both. I'll, you know, put whatever size they are, and then I'll um, transfer it over to, if it's men's, I'll transfer it to the women's. If it's women's, I'll transfer it to the men's. What? Cowboy boots are universal, right? Okay. Um, let's see. I was actually quite surprised on these. Um, this is a really super cute, um, metallic -y kind of booties. If you haven't seen or start watching guys, we're like, <clears throat> currently it's spring and I'm already watching fall videos for fashion shows. So, those are out, and um, Metallic was really big, <clears throat> excuse me, sequins, military style, uh, safari, um, schoolgirl, uh, lots of, some neon even, just depends on the designer you watch. But anyway, I think these will do very well for fall. They're called Revere, you can see in there, and I was really quite surprised, I mean, it's rubber sole and stuff, and uh, I don't think it's made of anything spectacular. Let's see if it has anything in here. Um, let's see. Uh, drama scub okay that must be the name of the um, boot and it is a size 7 but yeah um, I was really surprised as to how expensive they really are you never know all right so I did pick up one full priced item which I got 20% off of and they are these earth um, slide on I don't know athletic water whatever kind of shoe and they are in mint condition so um they were 4.79 i got 20 percent off so four dollars but i think that they should flip very well and quickly with the seasons that we are in oh by the way all items are for sale um and i am trying to get them listed quickly before you even see them uh so yeah go to my plush mark class and see what i got done okay onward into pants and some skirts. I don't know this name of this brand, guys. I really don't. Sorry. What? Do you, how do I say that? It's an LB. Is it an Albis? I don't know. All right. Size medium, but new tags. And I told you, um, yes. And these are um, flare. These are. Um, let me pull you down. 
me pull you down. All right, um, so you can see total flare. And I have got two girls that just totally rock the 70s. And if you aren't, make sure you're putting uh, retro 70s. Make sure you put 70s glam um, because, yes, those are definitely a 70s glam. All right. Again, with some more metallic. Uh, this, I have never heard of this. See you soon. Um, see you soon, size eight. Um, but I think it's absolutely adorable. Like this, I don't know if you'd call it color blocked or striped. Isn't color blocking a more popular? Um, but both of those would be great keywords in this like textured metallic. It does feel like a pleta. Uh, <laughs> skirt. All right. We'll stay right with that. Because here is a Mark New York, Andrew Mark, size medium, faux leather pleated. And when you're doing faux leather, don't forget to put the vegan um, in your description. So there you go, um, pleated skirt, and it goes below the knee, so it's like a midi. Um, <clears throat> I will definitely maybe use the schoolgirl-esque um, kind of verbiage with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yes, I thought that would be great. Okay, now I did leave a lot of, there was a whole bunch of Lane Bryant skirts, and I like to pick up things just for the print of it, because, um, yeah, if it's just too dull, it's, for me, it doesn't get as much attention, so um, that's just how I roll. This isn't even that, this is a, is a Massimo, size 16, 100% polyester, but yes, for the print of it. It is just really super adorable. I love it. So, um, yes, great size. There you go. All right. You are citizens of humanity, which um, sells really well for me. And I usually get about, um, I usually make $40 profit. So I'll take these anytime. Uh, this is a size 28. And they are the Ingrid 002 stretch low waist flare. I think I just sold a pair of maroon corduroy. No, oh, brown. Brown corduroys. Same. So, um, same style. Um, and yes, made $40 in profit. Um, there is just a slight bit of wear on the hem, but that's it. Um, yeah. There you go. Okay. Got me some of my Ann Taylor. Uh, this one is a factory. It's a modern eight, but Anne does very well for me. So um, and they are this really cute dress pant with that button detail there, like a flat. I don't know. They've got a, a pleat in the front. Not a pleat, but a, oh, whatever. I'm tired, guys. This is like take five. <laughs> um, so, yes, modern fit. Usually you can Google that and get a really good description. Sometimes you can even find... Um, what do you call it? Uh, stock photos, but yes, uh, I love me my Aunt Taylor. All right, this is a uh, Buffalo by David Bitten. They are a Hope mid rise skinny stretch, size 427. So I have sold the David Bitten before, and um, these happen to be like a wine maroon color. So, yes. All right. Here we go for the print of it. Um, this is just a Worthington. It is so cute. You can see, the, I don't know if you can see because it's not really, okay, there you go. See, it's sheer sleeve. So there's a sheer sleeve. The center is all lined. It is a maxi down to the floor. And I just loved the print. I love all these colors and this V-neck. What size are you wear? Size eight, like I said, Worthington. It does have some pleated detail right here. And what is this, a dolman sleeve? So um, yes, I just really, really fell in love with the dress itself. And it will sell, um, you know, it's not gonna bring in the highest dollars, but hey, it's for the print. All right, this one is We The Free. And it is a size medium. Um, and it is just this, uh, thermal, and if I have numbers on it, I will be able to read um, and look up and find out the exact name of this thermal. So, yes, that should do very well. All right, 
Hey guys, you know, that free shipping kind of thing going on. Um, you know, I've watched a lot of videos lately where people are like, yeah, I had a listen for $100 and I had free shipping on it. And then um, I accepted an offer of $80 and they also have to pay $7.99 in shipping. Um, so <laughs> watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I don't even have um, a bundle discount on my, uh, my site because... Um, when I do, uh, you do closet clear out and you mark it down. That's when people start bundling your stuff. You've already marked it down. So I don't do that. I bundle and I send out offers that way. I do not go through and do a bundling offer because I don't want to screw myself. Ooh, is that allowed to be said? Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Moving forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a casual identity. I have no idea. I didn't care. And it is a petite medium. It has such a nautical feel to it that I believe the description alone should sell it. And yes, it's super adorable. So I didn't even bother to look it up. I didn't care. All right. This one has a Harvey Bernard 2224. And it has this Mandarin collar, covered button, button down, faux pockets. It is super soft, but it's not made of anything spectacular. But I just love the colors in it. It will be nice for a fall listing. And yes, I might go through and because um, I, I might just go through and save that for fall. So if you're interested in anything that isn't listed, contact me. <laughs> All right. So this happens to be, and I'm going to slaughter that name. Okay, classic and tier. I don't know. Um, I don't know what, but it's an expensive brand, so <laughs> that's why I picked it up for a buck. Um, it's a size eight. Um, it does have like this exposed. I don't know if you can see it. Exposed threading, kind of detail, which is very difficult. It's not really picking up there. Um, and these really neat. You see the buttons? I like the buttons on it. Um, just a little blazer. It looks like it has like a little peplum down below. Gosh, guys, it really just does not, you can't see anything. Um, so, yeah, thought that would do well. And, yes, if you've noticed, I'm, my haul is going to have a lot of coats. Um, I'm shopping out of season just because I might not list some of these quickly. Um, I, right now, you know, nobody's picking them up because they are out of season. And so I get, I think, a better selection and um, higher end items when I do it that way. So um, I know some people like to shop within season. They want to flip their items really quick. Honestly, I don't ever expect mine to flip all that quick. I just want good money for my items. So I don't care if I sit on them for a while. Anyway, um, so I got a lot of jackets because they also bring in a higher dollar value to begin with. Um, but look at this detailing on this one. This is this leather crisscross. This is so cute. Again, I'm sorry, it's not really showing up that great. Um, it's a Jones, New York suit, size eight. So yes, I think that's gorgeous. Okay, this is a Garfield and Marks. Alex Garfield. I believe it is a vintage. It is a size four. It's not made of anything spectacular, but I do love picking up the vintage guys and make sure that when you pick up vintage, you are marking it as vintage. And guess what? You can't get that anymore. So uh, if they want the item, they get it quickly. Um, this one really goes down to like mid thigh. Um, so it's a nice long jacket, very sleek looking. Uh, this one is so super soft and is super cute. Um, it's just a max jeans and it's an extra small, but again, um, it's very military esque, um, like army and safari. So um, that's one of the reasons why I picked it up. And I love this color green. Like I said, super soft. All this zipper and pocket detailing to it. I think that should do well. Okay. This is 100% silk, Eileen Fisher, and it actually is two pieces. So it has its um, uh, slip underneath, and then it's a shirt, collared, sleeveless, button-down shirt dress. So I think this one should do very well. Okay, next we have 
Ashley by 26 International. Never heard of them, but I picked it up for the style. It's super cute. It's a medium. It is <clears throat> a faux vegan leather. Don't forget to the vegan. Um, and I didn't notice, but it's missing a button. But that's okay because what I'm going to do is, well, first off, I'm going to tighten this one up so that it sits better. And then I'm going to remove this one because there are so many buttons. I think it'll be just fine. Um, yeah. Look, there might be one missing over here, too. So I'll just remove this one then, too. So I just make it even, and um, then I'll go through and sell it. But I loved all the detail to it. Very, like, Prince, um, military, you know, retro, all that good stuff. <clears throat> I know this brand. I have not been successful in selling yet, although I only have a pair of wool pants and a shirt. And the shirt's nothing spectacular. So maybe this will do better. I don't know. It's not, um, there's no interesting material to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is this little snap down and it's like a crop cape um, style um, jacket, but it is absolutely adorable and it's really pretty in this navy and white print. So um, it's Lafayette 148 size eight so yeah um really really expensive brand but so far has not done well for me i did find me some vintage so um this happens to be a k studio size 10. um it's just 100 percent polyester and let's see if i can make sure this is such an interesting cut on this um it's very simple yet it's like really super like elegant and I don't know um, if you guys got any really good descriptive words for me put them in there um, it just has this asymmetrical neckline with this tiny little one bead hanging over so yes it does have some shoulder pads it is so super cute um, I will use the, use the words modest um, I will also of course use my wonderful witchy and all that good stuff <laughs> as descriptive words. Um, here we go. Another vintage piece. This one is Petra. Where are you? No, I lied. It's not Petra. It's Leslie Faye. It's a Leslie Faye. And we are a size eight. Um, <clears throat> very 80s with this um, gathered sheer almost like that sit on the shoulder to off the shoulder kind of appearance and it has the rhinestones right in through here very simple sheath dress um so yes okay there we go um i can't really i think it's I think it says an extra, extra large. Um, I'll definitely be taking measurements. It is a vintage SYQD. And I don't think it's made of anything. I don't even know if it has another tag. Probably doesn't even have another tag. Oh, it does. I don't think it's made of anything. What are you? Made in Hong Kong. Yeah, cotton polyester. But um, it has this like sheer... Um, overlay to this like sateen um, floral print and then it has velour detailing um, it's almost like a micro velour corduroy detailing and then down here it has gorgeous like applique and embroidery detailing they do it does have little pockets and it is a little zip up so um, yeah I thought that was adorable I'll give it a shot for a buck Oh, and hopefully you remember. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I'm dying here. Um, I do like to save some of my best items or my favorite items for last. So stay tuned to the end. We're getting there. Um, this is a Lewin Gray, and I just love this. Um, it is an asymmetrical zip up. So when it zips, it zips in this direction. Um, very 80s. Um, and I just absolutely adore it. And the back has different detail to it. So um, it's got like a color block pattern to it. Uh, I just, I think that's just awesome. Are these real? <gasps> real pockets. 
I hate when they put fake pockets. Why do they do that? So um, it does have real pockets, but I think that's really cute and on trend. All right. Now this one I've never heard of. Um, Marilyn and me. It is a size extra small. Um, it is a new at tags, and it is this really super cute moto jacket in a faux vegan leather pleather. So, um, yes, I really thought that was adorable. Small is not my favorite size to pick up, but gosh, you find some cute stuff in it. All right, next is an international concept. This is a size large. Um, it's 100% polyester, but I got it again for its print. I don't know if you can see it, it's got a metallic, like reptile snake print, and it's just this little hook closure. Um, I believe these are fake. They're fake pockets. You could roll up the sleeves or have the sleeves down. Um, it's super soft and it also is lightweight. So yes, um, I just, I love it. Oh, maybe I should try it on. <laughs> I lied, maybe it's not gonna be listed. All right, I got another vintage piece. This one is adorable. Oh my gosh, it is so precious. Um, it is um, Scully by Marsha Wright. Um, it, it says it's a size medium. It is 100% rayon and acetate lining, but um, the embroidery is just unbelievable. So it's like this mandarin collared button down blazer. And um, even look at, isn't that just so precious? I just love it. Now wait till the back. And of course, um, I will use keywords such as butterfly um, in there. And you can see, oh, it is so pretty. I don't even think that the camera's doing it justice. So, all right. Next, I have a uh, faux charpe. Um, is it faux charpe? Is that what you say? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to get a little loopy at the end here. Um, anyway, this is a crazy horse. Um, by Liz Claiborne, and um, it is a size large, but um, the style is right on target. It is super soft. It is super cute. So yes, and yeah, she didn't even put pockets. What the heck's wrong with her? So, um, but it is, it is just stinking adorable, and it is so soft. So is this like a faux micro suede? Is that what you would call that? Um, all those wonderful keywords. All right. This one has no tag whatsoever, but um, I could look up the designer due to the fact that there is actually like it's on the button. Um, and now that I'm putting measurements in um, my listings, which I hadn't when I first started, um, I now don't worry about if it doesn't have a size or anything. Um, but this is a faux leather um, shirt dress with sweater sleeves and um, it buttons down the front. It has pockets. Um, and it's quite long. I don't know, maybe it's not a dress because you, def you would definitely have to wear this with leggings. But um, it also gives me like an equestrian feeling, which some of the designers also, somebody must have got a horse for Christmas or something because <laughs> they were all wearing the hats and wearing the boots. So if you see any flat boots, not cowboy boots, the flat equestrian style boots, pick those darn things up. Those were in, they've been in almost every runway show I've been watching. So. Um, but yeah, I think this is definitely on trend and on target, so it should sell, and it should sell well. Okay. Now, I'm super stoked about this piece. This happens to be an Antonio Milani, size four. Um, it is a gorgeous white, asymmetrical cape draped, um, exposed back zipper sheath dress and I didn't check out the material I'm sure it's just polyester but um it, it, it is really nice and soft it is gorgeous but it's also new with tags and um yeah for originally $159 so I have not a problem picking this up um I definitely am going to be using the keywords for um bridal luncheon bridal shower and um bachelorette party um you know You'd be surprised. I actually sold two dresses just this weekend that um, somebody 
didn't get their dress in time. And so she was looking for dresses for her wedding and she bought two from me. So um, before I used to stay away from white, now I definitely am picking up white and I'm utilizing those as key words. Okay. Onward. This one is super on trend. It is super adorable. And I usually do very well selling faux fur trimmed sweaters. So um, very neutral in color, um, very adorable. Um, the cable knit, I don't know. I, you know, I'm bad with my knits, so I will have to Google um, the style of knit. But um, yes, I think it's very adorable. It is a, it's our time, size medium. Not a clue, I just know it'll do well. All right, <clears throat> if you've watched my channel before, you know how I like the funky. Well, I brought something really funky home. Um, <laughs> I think it's a dance studio piece. So um, yes, it's by, who are you by? Um, Weissman. And um, I don't have a size or anything on here. It does say LC, so I'll, excuse me, do some Googling. But it is this um, choker style, um, strappy, and it has a built-in shelf bra, um, body suit with the sheer see-through right here in this like crushed velour embossed snake skin um, jumper. Um, yeah, look at this. It's just so beyond funky. I couldn't leave it behind. So yeah. Um, I'm hoping, of course, this particular piece has some stock photos for it because having a hanger is definitely not going to do it justice. And I don't know, unless I can talk one of my girls into throwing it on, which, yeah, highly doubtful. Um, anyway, anybody looking for that? I have it in my closet. <laughs> All right, you know, and that's one of the good things about picking up items that are a dollar, guys, because it doesn't really matter. I mean, even if I sell them for, you know, I, of course, my goal is always to make. In fact, my goal is to make at least $20 of profit on each item. That's one of the reasons why I stay away from shirts and stuff. Um, because I, it's a lot of work and I want a higher return. So now this is my last piece, guys. So um, let's take a peek. Have you ever heard of the Quacker Factory? Um, anyway, it is this leather, very safari-like. Um, Western safari feel and um, they have a very whimsical um, detailing to this bottom um, so it's a novelty print um, safari animals it has giraffes um, some tigers over here and it has an elephant on the back it is gorgeous piece like I said it is leather um, and you know I looked up the comps on this and they're like all over the place. Don't forget when you're looking up your comps to go through. I don't really look up the sold. I look up what is listed currently. Um, that's a 2X. So nobody has that size. Good for me. Um, the other thing is, is that, you know, uh, I click on the listing because if it hasn't been shared since like the 4th of April, you know, they're not really a reseller. Um, <laughs> If you click then and it has been shared and updated, then you can go through and actually click on their closet to see if they really are a reseller or if they're just clearing out their closet and they're more knowledgeable about sharing their stuff. Um, but yeah, um, the comps are all over. One was listed for 100. A lot of them were listed way low. And I am not going to list mine, <clears throat> excuse me, way low. I don't mind sitting on items. Um, I'd rather get a higher dollar value for them. So yes, I'm going to probably list that one at 100 because of the fact that I could go through and have the search be in two different brackets. So it'll go in the 100 and below and 100 and above. Um, if it doesn't do well after a while and I have to relist and relist, um, then I might consider marking it down to that $50 mark. But um, I, I said, I'm going to start that one high and see how it goes. You guys, the most important thing about Poshmark is share, share, share. If you do not share your closet, you are missing out. I share my closet every two hours um, and it, it makes a big difference. You don't share, I yeah, I wouldn't be making any sales. It's not um, a platform that you just post and sit on. Um, you know, in fact, Macari, I was listing my items 
20% lower than what I listed them on Poshmark. My Macari store has picked up, but people are now sending me offers, which I'm like, you know what? I already marked it as low as what I really want for it. So now with Macari, I'm even marking my items up, but I never do anything really with Macari. I list it and sit and forget about it, but that's been picking up for me too. So um, I don't know if you guys got any tips or tricks of your own, do me a favor, leave them down below. We're just one big, huge community learning from everybody. So um, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you had some fun and I hope you come back and see me. Do me a favor if you can. Um, if you enjoy this video, give me that thumbs up. Um, you know what? Do some sharing. Tell everybody about me. <laughs> but until next time, guys.